Let's go ahead and pull out the book that I'll be working on today. Yes, it is this book. Just go ahead and flip through the pages just to get to the pages I want. And here it is. And let's take a look at the prompt for the page. It is known as Create a Music Inspired Page. Okay, we can do that. Look to be almost done. Just need to skip to a good part. Hmm, I think I decided to go backward. And we have a new background color. Let's just go back to the page, okay? There we go. But first, I need my art supply to finish this artwork. <laughs> ah, yes. I remember when I used to have the pencil case. Those were the good old days. My line art tools. <laughs> now let's get to the lining. This, um, artwork piece. Why do I regret this? <laughs> this part here is nothing really special. I went ahead and just finished this part like I was supposed to a long time ago. Getting this part out of the way? Now I need to finish this horse in the background. Also, I believe my character as well. So once I finish sketching both of them out, even, even though they both showed up and done a long time ago, but I guess we're here now. I'm going to be grabbing out my pens again to outline both of them. And once the outline is done, now time to get to the coloring part. This is going to be the fun part. Well, almost, because I didn't finish the coloring part ha halfway through. I guess the reason why I didn't finish the coloring part is because of the paper that I was using. But we'll get there when we get there. Let's just focus on the right- <laughs> Let's just focus on the now right now. Not the future now right now. What? So I'm going along with this part, coloring and all of the character, and the background, I had planned to add more blend and more colors to this artwork. But because of this paper, it started to become very difficult to blend in with the color to this artwork. Even adding the shading, so I just added in the general color of each character, including my SSO character and the horse. The only character that got in the general basic of shading and adding color was Linda. She was the only one. I had planned to add the shade and color to the other character, but what really got into me was when I did the sky and the grass, and the paper wasn't having the marker. So I just had enough with the paper and decided to call it a quit. I just finished this guy with the color that I had, and then I grab out my tape to protect the artwork that I, I works that I worked so hard to finish. But before adding the tape, I added the date to this because that was part of the rule that I set for this book. Add in the date that I finished each artwork. I wish I used marker paper rather than well, whatever the heck I decided to use for paper. I think I was going to color this artwork with color pencil, but. I guess I decided to go with marker. Should have gone with color pencil with this one, but it's too late now. Already added in the tape to this. Now that the tape is protecting the artwork, which you can also add Mod Podge onto this, but I really like the look of the tape. But we have two more pages to work on. Now it's time to pick a new page to work on for this video. Oh look, a different background color. I'm not good at this guys, but enough of that. Let's take a look at the new prompt for the page. This page says, create without thinking. <laughs> So just a random thing under the page. All right then. This will be a quick one, guys. Ugh. Like the page said, create without thinking. So I'll just shut off my brain and get to work. Grabbing up my pencil, create without thinking. So let's just get drawing. Uh, just a general kid drawing, scribbling part here. And here the puff of paint marker. And doing the same thing that I did with the pencil. And I did the same thing with different colors that I picked up with a paint marker. And then I decided to grab out that purple marker again and added some heart to this. I wish I added something else with this page. Maybe add something more, but I like how it is. And remember, create without thinking. So I created without thinking. I added the date to this page and then added, uh, once again, the tape to protect my artwork. Love the glossiness that the tape give off. But we need to move on. Now I think I started this page off camera, but the next page we're working on is called Create a Doodle. If you guys can see it, I think I forgot that I was recording this part. But let's just finish this page, shall we? So I work on the right side of the page, which I really like. Then I remember I was recording and opened the book to show the next page we were work going to work on. I already told them we were working on create a uh, doodle page. Don't forget to not color in the page number here. Color me in the, on the other side of the page. I don't like my teal paint marker. Uh, I think the tip is drying out on me, dragons which is really slowing down the progress on this page. It was because of that freaking pen of mine. Well, the pen tip, I guess. I was really enjoying working on this page. I wish I did something like this. I should do something like this in the future again. 
And I also wish I could color in the cloud that is showing the prompt of the page. But I date my artwork and then tape the page up once again, which give off that finishing look. And now the artwork is protected and done. I wish I could do more artwork, but our time is up, guys. No more. I'll do more of this book in the future. But for now, that is it. And it's time for the final result. pages are done in this book so we don't have to worry about it for a while now we'll be working more on that journal later in the future but I think right now we're just gonna take a break from it as of right now but that'll be it for this uh, week's video so if you guys want to check out this video right over here go ahead and don't forget to check out this video right here this is last week's video and I'll see you dragons next week bye dragons and I pray all I need are some better days. Fuck me, I'm looking in the mirror. So foggy, but I've never seen.